From the heart of Wayne County, this is Wayne Goldsboro Television, Goldsboro, North Carolina. March 1st, 2016, brand new month, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Pat Garner. And Pat, I hope you're doing well. How I'm are good. you? Good. I'm good. Good, good, good. Kate's on assignment. Again. Again. There you go. <laughs> Kate's a busy person as president of the Chamber of Commerce of Wayne County. She is pulled in many different directions, and today she was pulled away from this direction. So anyway, she'll be back with us soon. And I am so remiss I made a terrible mistake yesterday yesterday was a big birthday whose birthday was it yesterday was Majesty Rose's birthday oh. she turned 12 well maybe not okay but anyway happy birthday Majesty Rose sorry we missed you there a day all right uh, singer star American Idol all that yes anyway we'll look over today's birthdays here in just a moment Today is also, uh, for all intents and purposes, today, March 1st, the first day of the month. Uh, this is Peanut Butter Lover's Day. And there you go. If you love peanut butter, it's your day. Also, the month of March is noted to be, it is Irish American Month. That it is, you say. Yes, I do. In fact, well, it's also uh, Music in Our Schools Month. It's National Craft Month, National Frozen Food Month. Oh, boy. It's National Irish American Heritage Month. That was designated by Congress back in 95. National Nutrition Month. It's uh, National Women's History Month. How about that? Mm. Women's History Month. Yeah. Women invented windshield wipers for your car. Really? That's true. And many other things, too. But people don't know these things about women. women we are, are very pretty smart. Hmm? We are pretty smart. I've heard that, <clears throat> mostly from women, but yes, I have heard that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where were we? Oh, yes, here we are. It's also Red Cross Month and Social Workers Month. Very good. All right, there you go. All right, let's see what's going on in the area. You know, we had uh, last, sometime recently. We didn't yet, but we're going to. <laughs> um, at the uh, Hazel Waters Carnegie Assembly Hall in Mount Olive, let me get the clear off that. This young lady is going to be singing her heart out there. She's, uh, I think you said a soprano, uh, coloratura, perhaps. Anyway, she's, uh, uh, her name is Virginia Mims, soprano. She's going to be singing at the uh, assembly hall there in Mount Olive. That's coming up on March 18th at 7.30. And uh, the director of the music department there is going to be telling us about that coming up soon here on Wayne Goldsboro Television. He also is going to mention the uh, Chiampi Quartet. They're going to be in town day after tomorrow, March 3rd. They will be here. The Chiampi Quartet. It's a string quartet. Two, uh, two violins, a viola, and a cello. There you go. String quartet at the uh, Hazel Waters Carnegie Assembly Hall in Mount Olive. That's at 7.30 uh, Thursday evening of this week. All right. And it's free. 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 Free and open to the public. Birthdays today include... You remember Hogan's Heroes on TV back in a long, 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 long time ago? Yeah, when I was really little, 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 little. I don't want to hear that. Robert, Robert Clary, or uh, uh, the Frenchman, uh, Robert Clary, or something like that. Anyway, uh, Robert Clary played the little guy. He, he was a chef, did a lot of the cooking and that sort of stuff. Very funny program, Hogan's Heroes. Robert Clary turns 90 today. Uh, Robert Conrad, one of my favorite actors, uh, Conrad, uh, star of Baba Black Sheep, uh, Wild Wild West, and a whole bunch of other stuff. He's 81 today and still in fantastic condition. Uh, Dirk Benedict, uh, his, his brother, Jack, died some years ago, but uh, Dirk is 71 today. Uh, Lana Wood, the actress turning 70 today. Catherine Bach of the uh, Dukes of Hazard, 
having a birthday. She turned 62, the Daisy Dukes does. Ronnie Howard, Opie, can you believe this? Opie's 62 also. Wow. I know. 62 he is. And uh, Tim Daly, who was one of the stars of the TV show Wings, his mother is Tyne Daly, who was one of the stars of uh, Cagney and Lacey. You, no, never mind. Anyway, Mark Paul Gosselaar, Gosselaar is, uh, uh, was uh, one of the stars of uh, uh, Save of the Bell and went on to be one of the stars as he grew up on uh, NYPD Blue. Of course, they killed him off. But uh, anyway, he, he's 42 today. Tim Daly is 60 today. And there you go. Good deal. Ta-da. All right. One thing from the uh, Senior Center, what do we have? We got some blood pressure checks. Um, they are free, and they are on the first and third Tuesdays of each month. And there will be an RN from the 3HC, uh, will be available on March the 2nd, which is tomorrow, Okay. from 12 to 1 at the Senior Center. At the Senior Center? Yes. Okay, that's at 2001 East Ash Street, the Peggy M. Seeger Senior Center. Yes. Excellent. Thank you, ma'am. That's good. And get your blood pressure checked. And does it... Let's see. It's you can contact Paula if you got any questions at 919-705-1785. That's right. That's the correct number. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. We're going to go to our interview, and we will be back after that. Oh, whoa. Trivia. Time for our trivia question now. Today's trivia question category is vegetables. Not vegetables. Vegetables. There's a difference. I don't know what the difference is. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, here's a good one. Which fairy tales character, fairy tale character now, which fairy tale character's name comes from the green vegetable her mother stole out of a witch's garden? That's a hard one. Do you know? I don't know. I didn't know this. No, I don't. Okay. Know. All right. Let's get another one. What's the answer to that one? Rapunzel. Oh, no. I wouldn't have never Let got Let down that your one. hair. Okay. <laughs> Fairy tale character's name comes from the green vegetable her mother stole out of a witch's garden. Rapunzel, the answer. All right. Here's another one. The category is vegetable. <laughs> and the vegetable in this case is succotash. What cartoon cat was often known to exclaim, Suffering succotash. Suffering succotash. What cartoon cat was often known to say, suffering succotash? Do you know? Nope. Okay. We'll be back after our interview. Don't go away. We're very pleased today to have a couple of guys with us. Uh, first of all, Mr. Bill Graham and Mr. Vic Miller. Bill, good to see you. How you doing, Wayne? Vic, great to see you as always. Good to see you, Wayne. Thank and, you. And uh, they're with the uh, Veterans and Patriots of Wayne County Veterans and Patriots Coalition. I appreciate you guys coming in again. Yes, sir. Thank this you. is a wonderful organization. Tell me about it. Tell me what the organization is all about. We are all about <coughs> honors. Uh, we developed this program to go along following uh, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, Vietnam Veterans Day, which is coming up. Uh, the 4th of July, any program that uh, that has an honor to our veterans living and dead. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of like the umbrella um, organizations for the VFW, the American Legion, uh, the Fleet Reserve, um, Marine Corps League. Yep. Uh, and if you see a lot of the veterans or the, uh, individuals that are part of this organization are also main members of the other organizations right. I just remember. All yeah. right. So, right. And you have regular meetings. We have yes, regular we meetings yeah. once a month. And these are usually at the Veterans Services Office, I presume. That's right. Yes. Uh, that's at 2001D East Ash Street yes. in the old Nash Printing Company building. Exactly right. Yep. All right. Yep. All right. Now, you, you guys are really, really busy. You yes, got a, we are. You always have a lot going on. You stay always. that way. All right. Well, <laughs> Vic, give me an idea of what's coming up. All right. Uh, just to start off, uh, first, uh, we're going to have, um, it's that time of year, we're going to start planning for the Purple Heart Banquet. Right. So we are going to have the Purple Heart Banquet meeting, uh, planning committee meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be on March 2nd at the VSO. The planning meeting. The planning right. meeting. Right. Uh, yeah, that's going to be our first one of the year. Okay. Uh, we're going to be at 12 noon at the VSO, again, like you said, at 2001D. 
uh, Ash Street. East Ash Street, the Veterans Services Street. Office. Right. The VSO. Veterans yeah. Service Office, yes. Right. Yep. So, um, and then moving right along, we go ahead and we get into the Marine Corps League. Just some of the organizations uh, that we're going to be out there. Uh, we have the Marine Corps League meeting. Uh, it's going to be March 3rd, and that's going to be at the American Legion down off of 117 South. Right, okay, just and south of the fairgrounds. Just south of the fairgrounds, right. exactly. And, you know, if anybody has any questions, please, if they have any doubt or where any meeting might be, please mm -hmm. stop by the VSO. One of us will be there at mm -hmm. one time, and if not, we will get a hold of you, yep. and we will uh, get that information out to you as needed. Yeah, yeah and so. Brenda DuBose is doing a great job, by the yes. way. Yeah, yeah. She Absolutely. really is doing yes. a great job. She is. And she can help she you is. out as well. Yep. Yep. And um, next thing, uh, we have a Veterans of Foreign Wars. Yeah. Uh, they get together once a month, and uh, our next meeting is going to be on March 8th at the American Legion at 7 p.m. And we have the uh, Disabled American Veterans meeting, and they get together once a meeting, but they get together at their uh, headquarters there off of 2000, or 212 East Mulberry, which is right, right here downtown. In downtown Goldsboro. Yeah, and they get together at, at the DAV headquarters mm -hmm. at 7 p.m. Uh, we have um, the Military Order of the Purple Heart meeting. They, mm. they get together, and they also get together at the DAB headquarters okay. uh, once a month. And that's going to be on March 12th at um, 10, 10 a.m. in the morning. It's going to okay. be a Saturday. Yep. Um, and then we have the uh, Fleet Reserve uh, uh, meeting, uh, which is going to be March 15th at 7 p.m. down at the American Legion. Um, we have the American Legion meeting. Um, and that's at March 17th, which happens to be my favorite holiday. And I, March 17th? I, so I probably will right? not be at that meeting. March anymore. 17th. Let's see now. Look at that. Possibly be. What could be? Let's just think about it just a I while, shall we? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But he will be accessible by phone. I yes. will be accessible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, okay. I will be. March 17th. The American Legion meeting uh, is going to be on March 17th on St. Patrick's Day. There you go. Uh, I don't know who planned that one, but we need to change that next year, actually. We need to make sure the 17th is free and clear free of and all clear. meetings, yeah. you know. Um, uh, that's going to be at 7.30. It's, you know, it's kind of like planning a meeting at, at Christmas, you know, for me. So why would you plan a, you know, let's, let's plan a meeting, American Legion meeting on December 25th. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I understand that. Kidding. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> so moving right along, um, we have, and then also we have the Wayne County Veterans and Patriots Coalition meeting, uh, which is going to be on March 24th at uh, 6 p.m. down at the Veterans Service Office off of Astro. There you go. And then... Yeah. Um, uh, for that, I mean, I know that seems to be have a lot. That is a lot. Real. Well, let, let well, we want to make sure we cover all the groups and we want to get the word out there so that people understand it. You know what? Because the one thing I don't like hearing is like, oh, when was that meeting? Or sometimes yeah. even I'm guilty of it mm -hmm. myself. I think yeah. we all are. Um, I'll get a call in like an hour before either Bill, mm -hmm. Graham, or uh, okay. <laughs> his grandfather, Bill Boyd, will yeah. call me. <laughs> You know, will call me about an hour and he goes, hey, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the Marine Corps League meeting tonight. What time is that? Six, and it'll be 5.30. I'll be like, oh. yeah. You know, Bill Boyd no. may be his grandfather, but he, he, could, he could still hit you. Oh, I know he can. <laughs> I know he can. And you know, that's the greatest thing about who we are. You know, Bill, you know, if, if, if I wasn't giving Bill a hard time, yeah. if I wasn't mentioning something about, you know, how he was the first shipmate at Noah's Ark yeah. or something like that. No, he was Noah's XO. He, he was Noah's XO, XO yeah, yeah, officer, yeah, right. you know. I tell you, if we weren't saying something like that, I would probably be in the ground or right. something would be seriously wrong. It was his so. first sea duty. It was his yeah. first sea duty. <laughs> okay, a couple of questions for you now. Is there anywhere anybody can go to get these these dates? I, I know individual websites, the BFW website and all these. They're listed somewhere. We have them listed on uh, on our Facebook page, Wayne okay. County NC uh, Veterans and Patriots Coalition. Wayne County NC Veterans and, and Patriots, Patriots Coalition. Coalition. And everything is spelled out. Yes, sir. Yes. Wayne County NC Veterans and Patriots Coalition. That's correct. All right. Now, let me ask you another question. This is really a dumb question. What happens with these meetings? Why? Why does what does what does BFW do with their meetings? What does the Marine Corps do with their meetings? Well, um, what do you do? I think it's safe to say is one we talk it, we we encourage new members. We encourage lots of people to join because if you want to get involved in a lot of uh, events and, and one of the things Bill touched on with Vietnam Veterans Day is March 29th. Mm -hmm. We are planning on an observance on mm -hmm. Saturday the 27th. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to get involved in anything like this, you sit in up people out there in Wayne County, come to the meetings, get involved because there's there's too many times we've heard, I've heard throughout the community, um, like, oh, really, when did that happen? Mm. 
I said, well, you know what? And that's why we're trying to get the word out as much as we can. Come down, we talk about membership. If you want to become a member of any of these organizations, if you qualify, of course, you mm -hmm. know, being a Marine Corps League, right. you got to be a Marine or Navy CB. Yeah. <laughs> closest yeah. closest yeah. thing to being a Marine, I think, anyone You think so? Well, oh, I'm pretty sure. That, Maybe CBs and Corman, I think. Uh, okay, so, yeah. and yeah. Corman. Yeah, and I'm not too much on the honorary Marine thing, but, you know, whatever. You know, uh, American Legion, you know, if you're a veteran, yeah. uh, you can you know, like you could join uh, the VFW, the yeah. Veterans of Foreign War. You actually have to serve in a combat zone. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the Disabled American Veterans, and I'm not quite sure. I think you, you could be a member of that. I believe disabled American veterans, but you have to have a service-connected disability service to be a member. Exactly. Of that. And uh, the the American Legion, the VFW, and us, uh, and some of the other organizations are date restrictive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you yeah. you may not quite you can be a Marine Corps League member because you served in the Marine Corps, but you might not necessarily be uh, qualified to serve in the VFW if you didn't get boots on the ground. Right. Okay. I understand. Yeah. Uh, so they're so they're date restrictive in a lot of areas. But what mainly what we do at the meetings uh, is come together. This group has an idea. This group has an idea. Mm -hmm. This one wants to do this. This one wants mm -hmm. to do that. There's not enough manpower in the individual organizations to get done. There's the a lot of community work, work being done yeah, as well exactly. by these organizations. So we all come together, mm -hmm. all the groups, mm -hmm. and Vic and I are, are, and several of our guys are members of every single one of yeah, them. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so we take it to the headquarters, which is the, the coalition, right. and we plan all of the honor events through that. I would also like to thank, and I'm pretty sure of this, that uh, there's also a lot of support for each other. Yes, at sir. these meetings. Yes. yes a lot and of support. I, yeah, and I was going to say that, you know, it's one of those, if, if anything, and I've said this many times before, if anything, it's just a chance for you to get together with your like-minded folks, those exactly. who have veterans, you know, and I've said this before you, to you, Wayne, you know, um, a lot of people that are, if you're getting out of the military or if you're just fresh out of the military, if, if you're finding yourself that you just can't really talk to anybody that, you know, Getting out of the military is a big thing. Mm -hmm. Whether you did four years, 20, 30 years, you live your life a certain way for so long. Mm -hmm. You know, and tr the transition, you know, I used to think it was easy. I used to laugh it off, but you know, it's, I, I realized, and I, I, some, I found out the hard way yeah. that, you know, it, it's, it's not easy. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, and going to meetings like this, and I'm not saying I have to go to all of them, but going to meetings like this, you're gonna realize, you know, there's a lot of people out there just like you. There's a lot of people that think just like you, have the same concerns, have the same worries. And, you know, and I could tell you this, I've had a lot of uh, friends that, uh, that are having a really hard time transitioning. Yeah. I, I take phone calls in the middle of the night, and I like to know, and I, that's what I love about who we are and what we do, and especially with Bill and, you know, Brian Volk with the Military Purple Heart, um, you know, and Greg Kesey down at the DAV. I know for a fact that I can call any one of these individuals, no matter what time of the night it is, if I'm having a bad day, um, or if, if, and I encourage anybody, and I, like I said, I've gotten phone calls in the middle of the night and just kind of like, hey, you know what, go in the living room, whatever, and I talk to them for an hour, talk to them for five, ten minutes, or to, for an hour or so, but it's just letting someone know mm -hmm. that we're there, we're here to listen, we're here to help, and it's, and it's a great networking. Yes. Uh, because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that work in the community that are that are part of these organizations so if you get out if you're out in, um, in white county and you one you might be looking for a job or you might be looking for a point of contact for something you know we got the living rolodex right here to my left here bill graham <laughs> living this, rolodex well this guy he picks out his phone and i'm telling you what i think when did you i think he just got rid of his flip phone about a month or so ago <laughs> but you know i mean i mean it's a lot better than bill boyd who's still using pigeons i yeah. think what it is but on a serious note you know but on the series, you know, if anybody wants a point of contact, uh, I call Bill. Yeah. You know, yeah. and Bill knows everybody. Bill was born and raised here in Wayne County, so Bill. he knows everybody yeah. here. Yeah. Um, but it goes the same thing. If I don't know it, if I don't have a point of contact, if I can't find someone to help you or find you, I will sit with you and I will call everybody I know on my phone and make sure you, one, you get the help or one, you get the point of contact and, and that you're is heading so in important. the right direction. That and is so that important. is, you know, knowing that someone cares. Yeah. Is, is the number one key. And I think that's, if, if anybody gets a message from this, I think is knowing that someone cares and we love you. And then, you know, we you know we know what it's like to come home. You know, um, obviously some of us, you know, we're getting better at it when we come home. Yeah. We're trying to get better at it, at making our veterans feel like, you know, um, 
there, there's always someone there, and we're not, nothing but a phone call away. Yeah. All so, right. Yep. Bill, tell me about uh, Vietnam Veterans Day. Coming up on the 29th, and we're going to, what, observe it on the 27th? Is that that's, right? that's exactly right. Okay. Vietnam Veterans Day has uh, been nationally proclaimed, signed by the president, right. as Vietnam Veterans Day. And it's a welcome home day for all of us guys that served in Nam, uh, just to come together and appreciate each other. And uh, one of our associate sergeant arms at the coalition, Ben Ackerman, mm -hmm. is uh, planning this year's events. And great. we'll find out all about that this evening. Okay, great. And uh, this will be held, do we know where it's going to be? I've got a suspicion, Ben's keeping it secret from me, but I, well, I, I've well, got a suspicion it may be at the Wayne County Museum. Well, we don't know yet, do we? No, for sure. We don't. Not, Not for, for sure. sure. Ben's no. keeping a secret, then right. <laughs> it could be anywhere. <laughs> but definitely keep your ears to the ground on yes. that one. We're yes. definitely going to get the word out as soon right. as we know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. Owen. One of the things we like to do is, we, and this is, thank you for having us here today, Sure. is because we want to get this word out as much as possible yeah. because the more people know about it, the more people, um, the, t the talk around the town, as good as it already may be, the more people know about it, the bigger turnout. And, and just like Vietnam veterans, if the welcome home that they didn't get, that some yes. of them didn't get, you know, we want as many people as there as possible. We, uh, we had our first uh, Vietnam veterans program last year, mm -hmm. and it was at the museum as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, we're, uh, again, I don't know what Ben's planning, but he's, you know, it's, it's going to be good. It's, it's going to be good. I think the veterans will appreciate it. It is yeah. open to the public. Yeah. Okay. It is a public event. Well, let me ask you this as well now. You and I have talked about this before. In fact, all three of us have talked about this before. Veterans and Patriots Coalition is not solely for those who have served. No, it is not. Uh, we do take active duty. We do take retired. We do take reservists. We do take the everyday veteran like myself, okay? And, uh, but along with that, we are the veterans and patriots. We will take spouses, we will take brothers, we will take sisters, we will take sons and daughters, mm -hmm. grandparents, parents. Uh, it is open to absolutely anyone, Wayne, that has a patriotic heart and a willing uh, characteristic yeah. to serve and, and honor, yes. honor our vets. I think that's that's wonderful that, yeah. that, that you can do that. So veterans mm -hmm. and patriots. So if you're a patriot and you have not served in the military, you're still invited to, to join this organization. Exactly. Or at least Absolutely. just come find out about it. You know, come down to our meeting on the 24th of March. And 24th of March. just kind of see what we're about. And if you don't like it, well, that's fine. But, it, you know, there's a lot of information out there. Um, and it just like we just talked about today, it's a lot of upcoming events. and. Yeah. Uh, and I tell you what, ever since I moved here in 2012, and I think I met Bill in the sp spring of 2013, and mm -hmm. we've been hit, talking mm -hmm. about hitting the ground running. Yeah, ever, ever since. Ever, ever since, since then. then. I've, so, seen, I've seen you running. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, Vic showed up in, in the middle of the planning stages of uh, the, the wall that heals. Yes. Back in April 2013. Yeah. And uh, he's been a very vital part of the coalition yeah. since that. As have you. You both have, and uh, it, uh, we're very proud to have you both in here. Uh, Mr. Bill Graham and Mr. Vic Miller of the Veterans and Wayne County Veterans and Patriots Coalition. The next meeting is March 24th, mm -hmm. and this is at the VSO, the Veterans Services Office, mm -hmm. on East Ash Street, right? That's correct. Yes. All right, That's correct. Bill, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate well, it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. I appreciate thank you, Vic. Thank yep. you. Today we welcome Sergeant Paige Leonard of Crime Stoppers to the studio and we're going to be talking about what you can do to help solve a crime here in Wayne County. That's How right. are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Glad thank you. Glad you're here. Well, thank you as always for having us. We appreciate that. What's up? We have had a robbery we want to talk to people about and we know that there are witnesses mm -hmm. out, out for this robbery because this happened on February 22nd. That's happened, a Monday. Happened about 12.15 to 12.30 in the morning at the Grand Day Apartments on South Slocum Street, and that tends to be still a very busy time mm -hmm. at these apartments. And so we had a gentleman, a 42-year-old gentleman, Roderick Rowe Woods. He actually resides out there, but he was parked in his vehicle in the 1800 block of the apartments when he was approached by two suspects, both of them holding guns, right. both of them demanding money. Um, they ended up taking his pants. But, uh, huh? They did. They took his pants they from him. They took his pants? They did. And... Um, uh, stolen okay. from him was his cell phone and his pants, and uh, obviously we are looking for somebody that can help us with this. So we feel confident there's some witnesses down there if we can just get somebody to come forward and talk 
give us some names and give us some uh, information so we can work this case. Okay. <laughs> Pants. Yep. 919-735-2255 or 919-222-4230 if you know anything or even suspect anything because you take the smallest amount of information. Right, and we run with it. And you, you know, run with it. We have to look into every tip that we're given. And, um, and, and again, as always, I keep trying to remind people we have a tip line that's on the Goldsboro Police Department Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Very easy, and it's encrypted, so it's just as secure as the Crime Stoppers tip line on the cell phone. You know, it is anonymous, it's encrypted, so mm -hmm. we can't see who is sending the tip, but it's a very simple process. If they go to the, the Goldsboro Police Department Facebook page and they scroll down to the left, they'll see it. It's a tip application, they can submit it. Very easy process, so if they're more comfortable doing that, they can submit a tip that way also. Okay. I have a really tough question. Yes, sir. All right. The date on it was Monday the 22nd. Right. And it was around midnight. Right. Now, is that midnight Sunday night into Monday? That's correct. So that is so February that 22nd, they reported it. Um, at 12.15 or mm -hmm. so. Midnight. Right. All right, so that would actually be Sunday night, wouldn't it? Well, going, it reported between 12.15 and 12.30 in the morning. And they reported it on Monday morning. So it's Sunday mo Sunday evening going into right. Monday morning. Sunday night going into Monday morning. That's right. I just wanted to make that clear. Yeah, sometimes that gets confusing. It is very confusing. Sunday night just after midnight right. leading into Monday morning. That's right. So that's why the date is the 22nd. Right. All right, very good. Well, if you know uh, anything at all about anything that might have been suspicious in that area, around the uh, Day Circle, uh, Slocum Street area, 919-735-2255 mm -hmm. uh, or 919-222. 4230 and our guest is Sergeant Paige Lernard of Crime Stoppers. Thank you. Thank you. And we're back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Hope you're doing well. Today is a it's a Tuesday and it's a brand new month. Uh, March is upon us. Uh, March is upon us. And you know, there's a couple of things. Yesterday was uh, March. It was uh, February 29th, the the uh, leap day of the year. March 29th. We only have those every four years. Yesterday was day number 60 for the year. There's 306 days left. Uh, now there's only 305. But you know, there's always a big deal made about people born on February 29th. They have a birthday only once every four years and all that. You know, it's a little fun. But a woman in Utah has given birth on February 29th three times. Three times. The same lady? The same lady has had a baby. <laughs> she had a baby on February 29th, 2004. February 29th, 2008, exactly four years later. And February 29th, 2012. Wow. She's had three babies, all of them born on the same day of the year. She shares that record for leap day births with a woman in Norway who had babies on in 1960, 64, and 68. Now that's interesting because, well, just think, each one was four years apart. Well, they were leap years. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Okay. 04, 08, and 12, and then 60, 64, 68. A person who's born on February 29th may be called a leapling, keeping in mind, of course, that Majesty Rose was born on February 29th. Wow. She is a leapling or a leap year baby. In non-leap years, some leaplings celebrate their birthday on either February 28th or March 1st, while others only observe birthdays on the authentic intercalary date, February 29th. Those people who were born, let's say, let's say, let's say they were born uh, 60 years ago. Okay, if they were born 60 years ago, that would be 1956 but they're only 15 years old because they've only celebrated 15 birthdays. Hmm. Is that confusing? Yes. Is that interesting? No, uh, I'll fall asleep one Okay, out. okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, now, take a look at our trivia question for today. Here is the answer to our trivia question. Well, the category is vegetables, veg vegetables, veg vega, vega tables. The category, you have vegetables, and what car cartoon cat was often known to exclaim, suffering succotash. That was Sylvester, the cat, who was ah. always after Tweety Pie. Who was always after Tweety Pie. Tweety Pie was too smart for him, so that's where the suffering succotash came in. 
Okay? More trivia questions tomorrow. Thank you. Now, do you have something else from the Senior Center? Oh, yes. Senior Center is actually, they're really busy. They have a oh, lot no. going on. They sure do. Um, they have on March the 2nd, which is tomorrow, at the Senior Center, they have a women's billiards lesson. A what? Women's billiards lessons. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Wayne Alley. Okay. Pool. You're going to shoot and a pool. <laughs> billiards. And they are on Wednesday from 1 to 3. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wednesday from 1 to 3, a yes. billiards lesson. Yes. Lessons. And lessons. Oh, boy. So if you ever wanted to learn to, to, to shoot billiards, there you go. Here's there your opportunity. You go. But you've got to have at least four players. And you've got to be 60 and above. Yes. That's part of the, part of the plan. That's right. That's why they call it the Senior Center. Right. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that's about it for today. We're going to do this again tomorrow. I hope you're able to join us at that time. Tomorrow being Wednesday, middle of the week already. Here you go. So here we go. We're out of here. We'll be back tomorrow at 7. Then the show repeats at noon, then again at 5.30 p.m. And if you have any questions at all in the meantime, you can email us at wayne.alley at waynegov.com or you can email kate at kate d at goldsboro, no, kate d at waynecountychamber.com. Is that it? That's it. That's it. All right. We'll see you then. And until tomorrow, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Pat Garner. And this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. Mm -hmm.